If you're thinking to retire in Turkey and maybe buy a property here, there's a few things that you might want to know before you part with your hard-earned cash. Hello, I'm Mick Scarsbrook. The Turks here call me Mick Amja, which is Uncle Mick, and I've lived here over 30 years. And in that time, I have met a few people personally that have invested in property and either lost the property or lost their money because of one factor. They didn't have the tapu, that's the land deed, in their own name. It's imperative that when you buy a property here, that you have your name on land and property deeds. So to get the information from the horse's mouth, as it were, we went to an agent to see what the actual facts are of buying a property here in Turkey. So this is Furat, who is an old friend of mine. I've known him for 25 years. And uh, I've come to his estate agents, which is called Philo Homes, which he's had for three years, but he's been in the business for more than 20 years himself. And I'm just going to ask him a few questions about how easy it is to buy property here in Turkey. Because of what's happened in the past, all the horror yeah. stories that we hear about, um, he's given estate agents a bad press. No, 1st September, 1st of September 2020, everything changed. Yeah. 2020, so yeah. that's only a recent change. You need though. to have all the license okay. to be able to open. So you need to have an office, close online, when they entered on the computer. We spoke with Furat for over an hour and he told us that from September this year, that's 2020, the law changed here in Turkey and that now you can only buy and sell property through an official estate agent. All estate agents are now regulated and registered at the deed office and they must be certified. The deed office will now only deal with those official agents. This makes it much safer for buying property in Turkey for Turks and for foreigners. The regulations say that you can buy property up to 30 hectares, which is probably between 60 and 70 acres, which is big enough for a farm. It's a good idea before you buy a property to actually come to Turkey and rent in the area that you'd like to live. Uh, you can get a rental contract fairly easily and then with that rental contract you can actually apply for your residence permit as well which will give you more time to look at the local area and look at the properties that are for sale. Buying off plan and buying timeshare is quite a risky thing to do in Turkey so look into the legislation very carefully and make sure that you get a lawyer involved in that. There are some places in Turkey which are regarded as military zones and you can't buy in these areas. And they're not necessarily next to the borders of Iraq, Iran, Syria or Greece. They can be anywhere in Turkey, so that has to be verified before they'll issue a tapu deed. There is a tax that you have to pay, Alam Satam Vergisi, which is, I think at the moment, 1.5% from the buyer and the same from the seller. Uh, all this information should be given to you when you get your paperwork from your solicitor or lawyer. The regulations here change often and so I would recommend that you contact your local uh, Turkish embassy in the country that you live and also in the UK the www.gov.uk site gives uh, some detailed information on buying property here in Turkey and they also give information on some English-speaking lawyers 
that they recommend in different areas of Turkey that you can use to buy your property. You can give power of attorney to a lawyer or someone else to do all the paperwork and everything for you, but I would highly recommend that you go to the deed office, that's the Tapu Dairesi, yourself, and when you're registering your property. Unless you're a Turkish citizen, you will need a translator, even if you speak good Turkish, which is a good idea anyway. And although the paperwork is complicated here, actually you can do the transaction if everything is in place and you've got your funds in the bank over here in Turkey, you can actually buy a property in one day. It's also quite important what type of property you buy and when it was built, because years ago, there was no real restrictions on the quality of the build and whether or not it was safe. If you want to build a property nowadays, it's strictly controlled and you need an architect involved and also the building company needs to be registered. And all this information needs to be put on a plaque outside the building area. Turkey is a paradise. I found that out 32 years ago. I'm Mick Amja on Facebook and please subscribe to my channel on YouTube if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.